Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to integrate this K868 server with the node red so that by this RS485 by the mode bus. And in this video I will show you this demo and use the node red and how to control this relay on and off. Uh, this we just use the mode bus and for this part. And uh, we will use this demo and uh, you can integrate any RS485 mode bus device uh, to the K868 server. So that can manage by the node red, by the Raspberry Pi. So you can see here is the uh, diagram of the node red. It's very easy because we have made the video. This all device have connect with this home assistant by the MQTT. But this time that is directly not need MQTT, not need the book, not need the server, just locally integrate with IS485 so that will be very stable and without any software. So you can see here is the result and let's look at the first uh, hardware details. You can see here we have used this K868 server. You can see here the orange interface that is IS485 and also this is a IS IS485 interface uh, A and B that is for Kinkoni system. You can use this part and uh, manage all input, input and this output. So this you can see this uh, device are uh, integrated to this uh, IS485. This IS485 is for the Raspberry Pi. So this managed by the Raspberry Pi and by the Node Red. So you can see I can use this line connect with this A and this B and connect with this line. So that can integrate this resource and to the node red by this S485. You can see here is A and this is B directly. And if you have many S485 devices, so you, you, you may have one sensor two sensor, three sensor, and four sensor, and many, many sensor, maybe 100 sensor. So you can all can connect together uh, with this IS485 bus. So that will be useful. So you can see this is device one, this is device two, uh, this is device three, this is device four. So you can integrate many devices to this uh, interface. Okay, this is the hardware. Now let's look at some details. And before you have used this line, connect with this part together. And the next, you need to enable your Raspberry Pi CM4 module because the default setting is disable the actual server part. So you need to configure your boot configure.txt file that you can change the files in this EMMC uh, or you can, or maybe you have used the TF card uh, just change and modify this config file and let the UR, UART is become 1 that is enabled and that is disabled so the default I think is this one so you need to change to enable and equal 1 so that will be enabled the hardware resource of the UART. So you can go to the Home Assistant and you can see, we can check whether the hardware server part is enabled. You just click Configuration and you can go to the Supervise and on. Um. And here you can click the system and you can see uh, this point have a hardware. You can click and you will see that is the Home Assistant or hardware resource. Uh, you can input server part S E R I A L, and you can see here the T T Y S zero. That is the server part device, and maybe sometimes have this part, this part. And I have tested. We have used this uh, this this resource. So you can just copy and paste in your node red. And in your node red, you can see we just use the mode bus uh, node. And before you use this mode bus node, you make sure you have installed this add-ons. You can use this manager and install, and you can 
search node bus. You can see I have installed this node led mode bus. So this node you need to install. Firstly, I have already installed. So you can just see this left window and you can see many mode bus nodes. So I have used this right. Uh, this white note and for turn on one relay on and turn off relay off. So this is for the simplest demo, just like Hello World. And this is mode bus response. So you just need to uh, click and you can see here is some options. And you can see the server uh, you can create by yourself. Uh, this is the server part. This TTYS0 is we have we have said uh, in the Home Assistant hardware. So you can fill in these uh, sections with this item. And, uh, and set other settings, then you will easily to turn on and turn off. OK, that will be very easy. Now, how to step by step uh, integrate the node red? I can delete all, and I can tell you step by step. I delete all and deploy. OK, now it's empty. Let's begin how to integrate. We can use this if you continually use Modbus write and use Modbus responsible. Uh, these two nodes must be used in pair. So you can connect with this one. And double click, and you will see this is a server. Uh, maybe you have not this server, because if you first install this, use this node, there is no server. So you just click Add New Mode Bus Client. And I have clicked this Edit. And in this Edit sections, you can see this server part. You just click. Uh, this will auto scan, will listing your server part of your Raspberry Pi. And just configure, uh, just fill these items that we have said, we have said in the hardware resource that is for this one. And this server type, you choose this RTU buffer. And this brand rate, that is 9600. Uh, where you to confirm this, these sections? You just open your link, controller, the server, and you will see the IS485 setting. That is set by this brand, that is 9600. So just compare this one. So and, the, and this one, you can just uh, as seen as this network setting. And this is unit ID, just address of the device. You can also see this section, that is address. That is one. You can change to two, three, four, five, six in different board. You can set the different address. So in Node-RED, you can use a different board. So this is the one, so we can set is one. And this not need to change. I just click update. OK, you can see the server is quit. And this unit ID, you also input one. And now this is FC. FC means function, function code that we need to for single coin. Just you can see our protocol. That is the protocol. You can see the address and uh, country single of channel of the output, that is 5. So you can just click, this is 5. Function code is 5. And address, you can see the address in documentation. That is begin 0. Regist address begin 0. So you can change to 0. 0 means channel 1. And if input 1, that means channel 2. If you have input 3, that means channel 4. So this began with the 0, 1. Uh, this is began from the 0, not from 1. And you can click down. And we can let it turn on and turn off. We can use the inject. So we can use this inject and inject. We inject is for on. That we can just click input the number is 1, that means on. And we can click down and uh, connect with this line. And also we can double click and this will be number is 0, that means off. We can click down and also connect with this line. 
and now we can deploy and you can see here the active that means uh, enabled you can see I can click that will be turned on uh, this is channel 1 is turned on from, uh, for this contact and this is turned off and you can see here the value that is from the mode bus so you just use the two node can turn on and turn off and also it, it support you can use true or false you can double click and we can change this boolean and true and this we can change to false false down and you can click deploy and now we can click this one inject that will be off and that will be on and off and on so you can inject 0 or 1 or inject false or true to country output off and on so this is the channel 1 and if you want to turn on this uh, channel 3 this is 1, 2, 3, this is 3 so I just click and change the address the 3 is 2 so we can click down and deploy and now you can see I can click this true and that relay will be on you can see the red LD and the relay is on and click false and that will be off so you just change this different address so you can country the different output on and off so this is very easy for use the mode bus node uh, for turn on and turn off the relay output and also you can use the mode bus to read the sensor state and input state and integrate many other sensors for the mode bus uh, for the IS485 interface that is very useful okay this is how to use the mode bus integrate to home assistant a demo for the relay output okay thanks for watching